It has been one year since two San Antonio police officers were ambushed with gunfire near San Antonio College. Officer Miguel Moreno died in the shootout. Officer Julio Cavazos recovered from his injury and returned to duty. Today, SAPD honored Moreno at his substation and at Public Safety Headquarters. Eyewitness News reporter Marvin Hurst has the story. June 29, 2017, the 200 block of West Evergreen, it brought about darkness for a city, a family, and a police department. Being here today and, and looking down the street to where the suspect was, was killed uh, and knowing what went on right in this spot that we're standing on, it's just hard to fathom. The images from June 29, 2017 revealed the chaos San Antonio police reflect on one year later, officers Miguel Moreno and Julio Cavazo stopped two suspicious men. One of the suspects was armed and opened fire on the policeman. Shots fired! Shots fired! Can I have anyone else that area 200 Evergreen for shots fired? When it came over the police radio that uh, an officer had been shot, I was in, I think the whole department was in disbelief that uh, what had happened. Moreno was fatally wounded. Cavazos was shot but managed to grab his brother in blue, pull him to safety and fire back at the suspect. The man would take his own life. That was an incredible feat of heroism and bravery to do that after you've been shot. To do that period, but after you've been shot uh, and he was so weak he could barely talk on the radio. Cavazos survived. Moreno was killed in the line of duty. One year later, his name is etched in stone at public safety headquarters with other officers who gave the ultimate sacrifice. His end of watch plaque ready to be unveiled. Trying to get your, your arms around that when it when it, the call first comes out is, uh, uh, it's almost surreal. Now officers try to illuminate that dark day with the light from Cavazos' service and Moreno's life. In a music-driven tribute from SAPD, Moreno's brother Arturo offers his family's gratitude. No words they can describe to all the support, help, prayers. My sister wrote this. She wanted me to share it. Not a day goes by, we don't remember Miguel. Although it's been very painful for us to attend all these events that honor him, it shows us how much everyone appreciates Miguel. All we can do is talk about him and share our stories with our families and friends. That's the way we honor him every day. Marvin Hurst, Kins 5, Eyewitness News.